All right, you guys, today we're check out how to make this beautiful, colorful gradient blur animation here in After Effects. Also, if you want to know how to make this kinetic type animation, I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can watch that tutorial as well. All right, so let's start a project, click on new composition. I'm going to go with 1080p, rename it as text. I'm going to roll with six seconds, black background, click OK. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. Press the letter S, scale it up, align it to the center. Let's go and right click here, go to new, select solid, rename it as blur comp. Black background, click OK. Go to effects and presets, type in four line color gradient. Let's drag and drop on the blur comp. Change up the colors. I'm going to go with uh, white, another white. Then the last two colors, I'm going to make it black and another black. So the white colors are going to control the blur and the black colors basically going to remove the blur. And with these little dots, you can control the gradients. So right now I'm going to go to the blur comp, uncheck it, make it invisible. And I'm going to go right click here, new, select adjustment layer. Let's rename this as blur. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in compound blur, drag and drop the compound blur on the blur layer. Let's go to the blur layer, change it to blur comp source effects and mask and here we can increase the maximum blur but you can see some lines in this blur and we're going to need to smoothen this out so let's go to the effects and presets again type in camera lens drag and drop the camera lens on the compound blur let's go and activate the blur comp source effects and masks and here we're going to increase the blur radius from five I'm going to go up until the blur is going to smooth out and those lines are going to disappear. And from here, you can go and increase the maximum blur or decrease or whatever you want to do with it. And if you go back to the blur comp here and all you need to do here is go and click on the four color gradient, make sure it's clicked. So now the circles here are visible and now you can move them around. In order to animate, I'm going to go to the point one, click on the stopwatch, point two, three and four. And I'm going to go and bring this at the first second, for example, and here I'm going to mix up the gradients. You also can press the letter U. So this way it's going to highlight all the keyframes from these gradient colors. And I'm going to animate some more. And I'm going to go and select the first keyframes, press Control C. Let's go to the third second, Control V. So this is going to loop itself. I'm going to bring the work area all the way to three seconds, bring it back, hit play. And it looks something like this. Select all the keyframes, press F9, easy ease. I also going to go to the graph editor, select these anchor points at the bottom, drag the handles on the left, bring it back, hit play, and now you got some dynamic animation. Now I'm going to go and deactivate the graph editor. Let's go down here, right click, new. Let's select another adjustment layer, bring it above the blur, make sure it's on the top, right click, rename, go radiance. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in colorama, drag and drop the colorama on the gradients. Right now it's going to look something like this. So we're going to go to the effects and presets, type in solid composite, drag and drop the solid composite above the colorama. And we're going to change up the color from white to black. So check this out. Now we're going to go to the colorama and go to output cycle. And here you can see the colors. I'm going to double click on the red, change it to black, click OK. Now I'm going to go to the purple, double click, make it white, click OK. And I'm going to bring it all the way to the black. Onto is gonna look something like this. And I gotta bring the yellow here. And we're gonna create a new duplicate. Press and hold Alt, bring it upwards. This is gonna be the green-ish. Click OK. I gotta drag this blue on the left down so it's gonna disappear. I'm gonna bring it here, double click. I'm gonna make it orange. And this one is gonna be perp. I'm also gonna drop some noise to make this disappear. So we're going to go type in grain, add the grain above the solid composite. We're going to change the preview to final output. Let's go to preset and I'm going to go with this one. I also going to animate the blur. So I'm going to go to the blur layer. I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to activate the stopwatch at the maximum blur. I'm going to bring it to the first second, for example. I'm going to bring it up somewhere on 60, for example. And then I'm going to go here somewhere, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. I'm going to select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C, Ctrl V to duplicate and make it loop, drag it all the way at the end. And that's how you make this effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.